Welcome back to Live Alive, this is a YouTube channel for news, stories and analysis surrounding Liverpool Football Club. I will update new video every day, like, subscribe and turn on notifications to support me. Al Itihad prepare £129 million offer for Liverpool icon and have three weeks to negotiate transfer. Saudi club Al Itihad are prepared to spend an eye-watering €150 million, Euros, £129 million, to sign Liverpool star Mohamed Salah, according to reports. Jurgen Klopp has already insisted that the 31-year-old is not for sale, but the reported offer could prove to be too big to refuse. Salah has been vital to Liverpool's success since joining the Merseyside club from Roma in 2017. He has scored a stunning 138 goals and provided 81 assists in 220 appearances, winning a Premier League title, the FA Cup, League Cup, and Champions League in the process. Liverpool have already sold Jordan Henderson, £12 million, and Fabinho, £40 million, to Saudi clubs this summer. But Salah is one player the Anfield faithful would hate to lose. As mentioned, Klopp has already said that he has no intention of selling Salah. In a recent interview, the manager insisted the Egypt international remains 100% committed to Liverpool, that is in contrast to recent reports, which have claimed that Salah is open to the prospect of ditching the Premier League for Saudi this summer. The offer of a huge salary is probably tempting, to be fair. Now, according to transfer journalist James Bench, Al Itihad are preparing a 150 million euros, 129 million pounds, offer for Liverpool's Premier League leading goal scorer. On Twitter, Bench wrote, Al Itihad prepared to offer a 150 million euros, 129 million pounds, package for Mohamed Salah. Liverpool, who don't want to sell, would get 100 million euros guaranteed. Not all of add-ons would necessarily be easily achievable. Salah would receive a salary package comparable with Neymar and Ronaldo. While Liverpool may not receive the full £129 million, they would be guaranteed a fee of at least €100 million, Euros, £86 million, which is still a lot of money for a 31-year-old. Al Itihad still have plenty of time to negotiate a deal with the Reds, too. While the Premier League's transfer deadline is on Friday, the Saudi deadline is three weeks later on September 20. Klopp has already voiced his frustration on this situation. It's new, it's challenging for everybody and we have to learn to deal with it, the Liverpool manager said, but the authorities should make clear that if you want to be part of the system, do your business at the same time as the others at least. With that in mind, it will be very interesting to see if Al Itihad can convince Liverpool to sell Salah over the next few weeks. Liverpool now want £80,000 a week West Ham winger, Klopp loves him, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool are now being linked with West Ham United winger Gerard Bowen. According to Football Transfers, Liverpool are interested in signing Gerard Bowen from Premier League rivals West Ham United in the summer transfer window, the report has claimed that Liverpool are looking at Bowen as a potential replacement for Mohamed Salah. Al Itihad are reportedly interested in signing Egyptian forward Salah from Liverpool in the final days of the summer transfer window, so, if Liverpool do lose Salah this week, then the Merseyside club plan to make a move for Bowen. Football transfers have reported that Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp is a big fan of the 26-year-old, who can also operate as an attacking midfielder. Klopp reportedly believes that that the £80,000 a week, salary sport, winger could represent an ideal replacement for Salah in the short term. In our view, Liverpool could struggle to sign Gerard Bowen from Premier League rivals West Ham United in the summer transfer window. The window will close in a matter of days, it is really hard to see West Ham sell one of their best and most important players so late in the window. West Ham are a big and established club in the Premier League who are not just going to sell any of their players if they do not have to and if they do not want to. Bowen has scored two goals and given one assist in three Premier League matches for the Hammers this season. The winger scored six goals and gave five assists in 36 Premier League starts for West Ham last season. Bowen has made 135 appearances in the Premier League so far in his career. The 26-year-old has scored 29 goals and given 25 assists in those games. Liverpool make key transfer decision regarding a new defensive midfielder. As the transfer window draws to a close, the Reds are no longer in the pursuit of a specialist defensive midfielder, or a proper number 6. If this claim is supposedly true, then Liverpool need to reassess their plans, as we surely lack in that department, the claim comes from The Athletic. The Reds have signed only three players so far after the departure of a sizable number of midfielders. Jurgen Klopp's side signed Alexis McAllister and Dominic Sobarsly pretty early in the window and also signed Wateru Endo from Stuttgart most recently. 
while Endo started the game against Newcastle in defensive midfield, there surely is room for improvement in that aspect of our play. The quest for a robust and defensively adept midfielder has been a focal point for Liverpool's recruitment team. The club's interest in players like Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia remained well documented, but the pursuit did not yield the desired results and eventually, that led us to get Endo. While the defensive midfield position was a primary concern, Liverpool's ambition for reinforcement goes beyond that. The pursuit of a multifunctional midfielder, one who can adapt to various roles and responsibilities in the centre of the park, remains on the agenda. Klopp's tactical system demands versatility, and the club's recruitment strategy aligns with this philosophy. The latest developments do not indicate a stagnation in Liverpool's ambitions. The club's interest in Bayern Munich's Ryan Gravenberch highlights their continued efforts to enhance their midfield options. The Dutch midfielder, known for his composure on the ball and ability to dictate play, has long been on Liverpool's radar. The ongoing monitoring of Gravenberch's situation suggests that the club is maintaining a proactive approach to potential opportunities. As Liverpool aim to solidify their squad ahead of the upcoming season, a comprehensive evaluation of the defensive line is also underway. The notion of adding further competition and security to the back line is under consideration. While the claims say that defensive reinforcements at the moment are not an immediate concern, in reality, they actually are, given there's not a long time to go before the transfer window comes to a close, fans cannot surely sit with folded arms. The need for reinforcements is alarming, and it is best if the Reds get their businesses sorted out quickly. The overarching goal is to build a squad that can navigate the complexities of various competitions and maintain the hallmark intensity of Liverpool's playing style. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.